So in this video, we are going to add the robots.txt file and also the sitemap okay, for SEO purposes. So if you see in our application uh, by the extension we installed in the last video, that is SEO meta in one click, we are missing the robots.txt file okay, and also the sitemap which will uh, link to that. And uh, let's go ahead and add this. So basically what it says is add or generate a robot.txt file uh, in the root of your app directory to tell search engine crawlers which url they can access your site okay so uh, basically what we need to tell the search engine crawlers is that we just need to crawl all the all the paths that start from slash and disallow for example that is slash private so in this example it says that uh, whichever route starts from slash private we do not want to crawl those urls okay so we just need to allow that starts from slash and disallow that starts from slash private okay so this is the example which they have given so there are two ways of implementing this by adding a robot.txt file and also robot.txt robots.ts file okay so we'll go with the ts approach since we are developers right so let's copy this piece of code and go to the root of our application so it's right here let's create a robot.txt or a ts file robots.ts and inside this let's paste in here so this is the deployed url right so we can just uh, copy this url and we can just replace this uh, which is given here as a placeholder and that is slash sitemap okay which we'll be creating after this so that it has a reference to our sitemap as well which i'll just talk about in a bit so and we just need to add in this rules okay in the form of an object and uh, by the way this is a function which we need to uh, export by default okay called robots and give this a type of metadata route dot robots that is coming from next itself and we just need to return an object by containing the rules object which indeed is another object which contains three properties that is the user agent so this can either be a google bot or a bing bot so whichever the search engine which is used for crawling okay so if you want to only uh, specify the certain uh, search engine bots to crawl your website like only google then we can just mention google bot over here which is also given uh, as an example over here you see google Google bot or also you can add an apple bot or bing bot and also you can give in some uh, specifications like allow all routes for google bot but not for uh, bing bot or apple bot so we can configure like that so we don't have this private so let's get rid of that and this is all we need to do it okay so once we do this uh, we have another property called sitemap okay so what is this sitemap i'll just come in a bit so we just need to give a reference to the sitemap.xml file uh, again which points at the root of our application okay so in our development uh, environment this is uh, in the app folder right so sorry this should go to the app folder and not the root of this so it also says uh, to create in the root of the app directory okay so we need to push it here and also the sitemap okay so let's see what is sitemap so if I click on next, so this will give us the sitemap XML. So what this does is uh, it helps search engine crawlers index your site more efficiently. Okay. So basically it is the indexing. Okay. So the URLs which we need to provide like slash about slash blog. So these are all the URLs that we need to crawl and not any other URLs. Okay. So that's the only main purpose of using this uh, sitemap and we can use the TypeScript way. Okay. So I'll just uh, copy this and I'll just explain what this does. And let's create a sitemap.ts file. Okay, so it is sitemap. So there should not be any dashes here. All right, so let's paste in here. So let us change this to uh, the URL that we are using. Okay, and uh, apart from this, so let's change the about to properties. So we want to index the properties page and we don't have a blog page. So this is only going to index the uh, home page and the properties page. Okay. So we also want to index the individual property page, right? So that has with an ID of like uh, slash one slash two. So I just don't want to add that everything within this one object. So what we can just do is we can make a call to our uh, server action to fetch all the properties and uh, we can just get the IDs, right? And then we can just append the ID uh, at the last, right? So let us fetch all the properties. So I'm going to call this properties and set this to await to the server action which we can auto import called get properties all right and uh, we just need to make this function as async since we are using await for getting the properties so it's giving me an error here uh, saying this is only compatible uh, for es5 and above versions so let's get rid of this anyways it's not even helpful 
so uh, by getting all the properties we can just now just create an object within the url and lash modified by the way we don't need this uh, frequency and priority okay so only we are interested in the url and the lash modified okay which are actually important so let us uh, create an object called property urls and set this equal to uh, properties dot map so let's loop across all the properties and for every property uh, we just need to get the url right so let's uh, get the url so i can just use this as a template and return okay and let's use an implicit return and let's paste in here for this object and over here let's uh, let's uh, change this to slash properties and then the id okay so let's change this to a template string and and then pass in the id okay so that is properties property dot id all right so this will uh, give us the url and the last modified will be the new date so now we can go ahead and spread across the property urls okay so once that's done sorry property urls all right so once that's done we can now commit these changes and push it to github okay so we can open our terminal and add all the files to our staging area and give a commit message saying uh, robots.txt or we can just say metadata files okay and let's enter and push it to github okay so once that's done uh, vercel will detect this uh, latest commit and it will redeploy your application okay with the latest robots.ts and sitemap okay so this is all about this video where we have added the robots.txt file and the sitemap okay so which is also essential for uh, next uh, for search engines to crawl and index our website okay so this is the last video of this course so if you have come till here congratulations i hope you have got to know every single feature about uh, nextjs and how exactly you can use it to build any kind of enterprise level application and also could help you get a job as a nextjs developer so if you have any questions or you got stuck anywhere within the course so you can just uh, ping me in the comments so i'll just try to answer them and uh, yeah that's it for this course guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video